Hi REBA members and friends, this is Mark Ericello, your state representative, uh, here to report for our AGM a bit of a state wrap up and snapshot of what's been happening in Victorian real estate uh, market uh, since 2021 to 2022 year. Uh, you know, collectively in Victoria, we experienced a lot of the same issues and factors uh, that, that other states experienced uh, nationally uh, and other global factors affecting us, especially more recently in the, in the last six months. Uh, the interest rate rises and inflation, uh, issues with the building um, construction industry and, and in major issues due to our Victorian lockdowns that were so strict during the heat of the pandemic uh, with a mass exodus of population. Uh, from skilled migrants, the education sector, hospitality, entertainment, um, and, and skilled migrants coming in for employment as well. But that's starting to improve on a slow rate. Uh, residential sales, again, you know, if you listen to the media and uh, a lot of the politics uh, during the last two years, there were predictions that we were going to have a crash and burn of more than 30% decline in property market. These are just data shared by REIV during the June quarter uh, period uh, and houses in good locations, good units and good houses in, in good suburbs and, and uh, uh, did not get affected that greatly. Uh, there was a decline and probably more of a decline now reported in the September uh, quarter, but with the annual adjustments and calculations, we peaked with property having close to 20, 30% rise by the end of 2021 even after the decline to the end of the June quarter and then continued more recently, uh, you know, the, the uh, annual adjustments were at 10-30% uh, averages for houses. I won't share all of these uh, slides in detail now or report them verbatim, but we can um, definitely share the slides if someone's interested. And showing yeah, days on market averages with regional and metro, metro uh, you know, reaching on par or usually regional had a lot longer days on market, largely due to um, you know, a lot of lifestyle changes and moves. And auction clearance rates, you know, the peak in the start of this year coming at about the 80 to 75 percent now down to the 65, 70 percent average, which is still sustainable. Uh, but the best news was with uh, recent improvements in yields and demand for rental, uh, probably in line with the inflation of interest rates, uh, yields coming down to close to 3.2%, uh, which were at the peak at about 6% um, vacancy rates, uh, and the yields at the, the vacancy rates there at about the 3.2% as well. It's shown some of the yields improving across our state also uh, over recent weeks. There are tenancy reforms uh, that we've mentioned in the past. The Victorian government brought in 130 reforms, uh, which are quite strict. I think from an advocacy point of view, we need to advise clients of the, their um, obligations and duties and costs involved, and if they want the choice to get some extra due diligence checks before purchasing investment property, but they are in force and will be um, in, in force throughout 2023. Commercial market again, low on stock, just like the residential market, but um, you know, industrial, light industrial, and warehousing and distribution um, areas probably the strongest performing in sale and demand, uh, and yields improving there too. Uh, and and retail and hospitality are the ones that had suffered and need some improvement. Some data shared by PIXA there, just showing some of the industrial commercial areas that had a lot of growth in volume of sales. Uh, and shared by PropTech as well, backing up the industrial sector uh, in high performance. And we've got the airline rail uh, in Melbourne uh, coming and other major projects that will help improve with infrastructure and uh, improvement of, of living and lifestyle and yields. So advocacy priorities from um, REIV and other sectors combined, um, we can share them as well, but some of them are around tax reforms and industry training and um, standards, uh, as well as the Residential Tenancy Act, um, you know, all the things that are discouraging investors at the moment. State elections coming up, there's a lot of publications shared and disclaimers here, but my name's uh, Mark Ericello, your state representative, been great speaking with you.